Hello, everyone. Good morning, everybody. So I was just watching another video and it occurred to me that there's this whole brouhaha about Harry and Meghan and this Portugal house that apparently they want because Meghan is suddenly desperate and itching for a golden visa from the Portuguese government. <laughs> and I just thought, wait a second, wait a second. I mean, it's one thing to say that they're moving to Portugal, they're buying a holiday house to have a second residence because they're rich and they want to have some fun and they want to, you know, give their family the, the fruits of their labor and enjoy their money, right? That's one thing. Well, then when you put this spin on it, that this American citizen who is, you know, very, very rich, she lives in Montecito, California. She has the best of all worlds. I mean, even a house in Portugal, as nice as it is, right, does not compare to what she already has in the United States. I mean, not for nothing. Portugal is great, as I said. If you can have a dual lifestyle where you have a home in Europe and a home in America, great. But you can't really compare living in Montecito, California to, to Portugal, you know, in, in the sense of, I mean, and I don't mean to offend anyone who is Portuguese, but America is better, you know, by and large. I mean, ounce for ounce, you know what I'm saying? Ounce for ounce, it, it's, it's more weighty to have a home in Montecito, California than it is to have one in Melita's Portugal. Melita's Portugal is your second home because you're rich. I mean, forgive me if I put that in a way that is offensive to anybody, because when you start talking to me about how desperate Megan is for a golden visa from Portugal, when she's already a United States citizen, right? With an American passport that allows her to go wherever she wants, then I have to become a Sagittarius Capricorn and tell you the truth. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Contrary to recent reports in the UK press, Megan does not need a golden visa from Portugal to reside in Portugal or spend time in Portugal. Okay. The golden visa program in Portugal is as to my understanding anyway, is this scheme. It's very popular and it allows people who are not European nationals to gain residency in Portugal if they make a significant investment in real estate or other financial assets. It's, it's sort of like a ploy to get rich people to invest in the country, right? Rich people who are not European and who desperately want to be European, right? Megan's financial status, Megan's celebrity, Megan's American Americanness, Megan's global lifestyle, Megan's personal circumstances all negate the need for a visa from any country. She's already American and the creme de la creme, the richest living in the best parts of the United States, right? If that's all she has and then she dies, she's set, right? Anything else is icing, okay? So Harry and Meghan are very, very wealthy, okay? And they have substantial assets. This isn't a big newsflash. Harry just got an inheritance from his great-grandmother. They had money from his book, from their Netflix deals, etc., etc. They are not hurting for money. They, they have so much money, they've been giving money away, okay? They also have the, the multi-million dollar home in Montecito, as I said, right? They have the resources to travel freely and to reside in different countries without requiring a golden visa or relying on investment-based immigration schemes in any country, right? I mean, you see how Megan is. I mean, the minute you piss her off, she takes her things and she leaves your country. She doesn't even care right? She doesn't even care. She's American, right? If they were to spend extended time in Portugal, they could even explore other visa options, according to my understanding, which are available to high net worth individuals, such as long-term tourist visas or even temporary residency permits, which do not necessitate significant investment in, in, in real estate. So, 
you know, this idea that, you know, Megan is, is, try, is after a golden visa. I knew that the British press and Richard Eden and, and these quacks, you know, when they came up with this story about this house in Portugal and I, I realized that it may be fake news, I said, oh, okay, so in a couple of days, something else is going to drop to make Megan look like mud or to throw mud at Megan about this house. This is all just a storyline, really, that they concoct. So make it sound really juicy so people jump on it. And then a few days later, they come up with their, 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 their shit, pretty much, okay? I mean, I can't really think of a better word. So, you know, there goes my algorithms. Anyway, um, look, the golden visa thing in, in, in Portugal is designed to attract foreign investors looking to establish permanent or semi-permanent residents in Portugal. Harry and Megan are, Amer well, Megan is American and Harry, her husband, uh, you know, member of the British royal family, you know, he doesn't need a golden visa to live in, in Portugal. Okay. They lead a highly mobile and international lifestyle and they spend time across multiple continents. They can go anywhere really and have a house anywhere they want. You know, and all they have to do is spend three months a year and they're good to go. They don't need a golden visa in Portugal, okay? Certainly Megan doesn't, right? And their primary residence, to my understanding, remains in Montecito in the United States, right? And of course, you know, their royal connections mean that they are frequently traveling between many different countries, as we have seen in the last several years. So... I don't think they need to establish a, a permanent residence in, in Portugal. I mean, okay, so tr the Trump issue and so on might, you know, mean that they want to spend more time outside the country if Trump's, Trump wins, but they don't need to have a golden visa from Port in Portugal, okay? It's totally baseless, right? And I think these reports are just speculative and sensationalizing the couple's occasional travels or interest in certain countries just to get clicks right and they don't really consider the practical realities of you know Megan and Harry's privileged global lifestyle but what the heck does Megan need golden visa from Portugal for that is so stupid it's so stupid anyway you guys that's all for this one see you in the next one leave your comments definitely subscribe man come on subscribe, hit the thumbs up. The notification bell is very, very important. You've got to turn that on so that when I upload new videos, you are the first to know. Okay. So see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.